All right, hi everybody. We are working through the diploma review. This is the trigonometry chapter. I'm just working through a word problem here. Uh, so what we got to do is come up with the equation of this of this uh, graph here. So a nail is caught in the tread of the tire uh, at point N. Okay. Now, then we're given some specific information here. The tire has a diameter of 50 centimeters. Now that is telling me immediately that the radius is equal to 25. Now, granted, yeah, that's that may be obvious to you, but maybe what might be less obvious here is that the radius of a tire will be equal to the amplitude of the motion. Therefore, my A value immediately is 25, okay? Now, next it says, and it rotates at 60 revolutions, sorry, 60, at 10 revolutions per minute. Now, what that's trying to tell me is the period. Now, I know that this is, this is not quite as obvious to everybody here, but you gotta just think about this. 10 revolutions per minute. Okay, well, in one minute, there are 60 seconds, okay? I am dividing that into groups of 10, okay? Now, basically, I'm each, remember, I'm revolving around 10 times in a minute. So in that 60, I'm dividing that into 10 here. Each one of those is gonna be six seconds. That's the period, okay? The period is six seconds here. Now, the question continues to say, after 4.5 seconds, the nail hits the, touches the ground. Now, this is supposed to be a little bit of a red herring. That 4.5 seconds is, is right here. That's not the period, because to go from here to there is not a full complete period. That's only three quarters of it, okay? But however, a lot of people, if, if they saw a question like this in an exam, would jump and make that the period. So additionally, the middle of the graph, if this is a tire rolling on the ground, okay, then the amplitude and the distance that the middle of the tire is, the, the, the axle here, has got to be the same distance uh, to the ground as the radius. So in this case here, this has also got to be 25. So the D value here must be 25. Now, before I can put this into the, into the equation, first of all, take a look at the structure of it and notice that there's no, there's no C value here. There's no horizontal phase shift. Okay, typically the diploma writers are pretty good about not making a question too overwhelming for people. Okay, and we, and we know that finding the horizontal phase shift can actually be very, very difficult. But finding A, B, and D really, really shouldn't. So the only thing that I'm really missing in this case here is B. I don't know what B is yet. However, I do know the period. Now notice, when I do this, I'm going to make this 2 pi over period to find the B. Uh, word problems should always be in radians, okay? I, I'm not even going to consider what it would look like in degrees because we shouldn't be using degrees. It should be in radians here. So this will be 2 pi over, my period is 6, so my B value is pi over 3. And so therefore, I can write this equation as H of T. So there's that's the notation they're using, is 25, that's the A value, times the sine of pi over 3 times T, plus 25. And there you go, that's the equation of the motion of this graph.